Welcome to Extend Office Channel. This comprehensive guide will walk you through the process of obtaining an OpenAI API key and understanding its billing. How to get an OpenAI API key. To get an OpenAI API key, please follow steps below. Navigate to the OpenAI website. Login button in the top right corner of the website, click it. Then in the new open page, click sign up and then follow the website's instructions to complete the registration process. Once you've completed the sign up process, OpenAI will send you a confirmation email. To verify your account, open the email and click on the provided verification link. Completing this step is crucial for securing your account. With your account now verified, go back to the OpenAI website and select the login option. Use the username and password you registered with to access your account. After logging into your OpenAI account, navigate to the left side of the web page and click on the API Keys section, represented by a lock icon. Now in the API Keys section, click the Create New Secret Key button to create a new API key. A dialog box pops out for you to name this secret API key, enter a specific name and click Create Secret Key button. If you plan to have multiple secret API keys for different apps or organizations, it's crucial to assign each key a descriptive name. This practice aids in quickly distinguishing between the keys when you need to refer to a specific one. Upon clicking the Create Secret Key button, your new secret API key will be generated. Be sure to use the Copy button to copy this key and then paste it into the necessary application. It's important to do this promptly, as the key will no longer be visible once this dialog box is closed. Here I paste it to a notepad. Click Done to close the box. Now you can see the API key is generated and shown in the API Keys section. Understanding OpenAI API Key Billing Creating an OpenAI API key initially comes at no cost. New users on a free trial are granted $5 in credits, which are valid for 3 months. For getting details about how much you have used, please navigate to the left pane of the website and click Usage button, then in the Usage section, you can view the daily costs and monthly bill. After exhausting this credit or upon expiration, you'll need to provide billing details to maintain access to your chosen API. Note that without billing information, your login will remain active, but you won't be able to execute additional API requests. To set up billing, please follow the steps below. Click on the setting button on the left menu. Then click billing to go to the billing settings section. In the Billing Settings section, if you have never added any payment for API usage, click Add Payment Details button. Then choose Individual or Company as you need. And add your credit card and fill details. To add a new payment method or modify an existing one, Navigate to the Billing Settings section and select the Payment Methods button. Follow the on-site instructions to complete the update or addition of your payment details. That's all the content of this video. Thanks for watching.